Hello, good evening all of you, all my dear lovely students. Today, again I have come back with one more video for 2021 Biomedical Digital Signaling Processing Paper and Semester 2021. This again, the, uh, due to the COVID-19, this year paper was also for 56 marks. But the, uh, like the earlier video I have explained, this year it will contain 70 marks for three hours paper okay so 25 marks will be the um, short questions so to solve i'll be discussing the solution of all the short questions in 2021 paper kindly go through the solutions okay thank you now first of all uh, the first question it is all about the filling of the fill in the blank so the first question is saying the laplace transform is used to transform the time domain signal into so this is nothing but time domain signal into frequency domain signal okay so this is your time domain into frequency domain so time domain signal uh, in case of laplace transform what we do we basically convert a signal x of t which is time domain signal into x of s here this x of s is nothing but the laplace transform so this is laplace transform is an operation from time domain to frequency domain okay time to frequency we are converting so first Question is gone. Second one is uh, it is talking about the op amp and transistors are used in filters with RLC component. This RLC component is basically resistor, inductor, and capacitors. Since we are using op amp, which is operational amplifier and transistor, these two components are considered to be active elements. So these active elements, since they are used in RLC component, so the filter will be called as active filters. Okay okay so this will be called as active filter if you use active component in a filter then the filter will be called as active filters remember this so these two filter are active filters next the question it was the common question for uh like uh, same thing okay this is the common question uh now mm -hmm. sorry uh because my laptop was getting discussed so now uh the full form of fir and ir since it is already been discussed, so it is finite impulse response, uh, which is a common paper. I told you common question in fi uh, finite impulse impulse response. That means the response is in the finite range. Okay, then here it is in finite impulse response. In finite impulse response filter. Okay, response filter. Now the next question is decimation is a process in which the sampling rate is reduced. You know that this is again a common question for you all. This is again reduced. This is also a very important question for your end semester. Then let us discuss about the true and false. This question is almost the similar to 2020. The butter of filter is also called maximum flat magnet filter. In the earlier video, I already have told you that the butter of filter is called maximum flat magnet filter. Since in the previous year, 2020, it was asking about the c by c so it is false but this time it is true because they, they are talking about butter oil. butter oil, again i told you that butter is designed to have the maximum as like uh, frequency response as flat as possible so that is why it is called maximally flat magnitude filter so this is your true okay this is your answer is true then next uh the fr filter is more stable than ir filter this is true right i told you that fir filter is more stable because it does not contain any poles right it contain only zeros the uh, c number option uh, here the c number question is saying ir filter is an analogous type of filter analog sorry analog type of filter used in the digital signal processing so we know that iir and fir two digital type of filters so they are not analog right so uh, that is why this question is nothing but false okay this question is false and the remaining two are true and true this is false so now come to the next uh, uh we'll be discussing about the mcqs okay so number of stages is required to solve and dft n equal to 8 dft so this is 8 point dft remember okay so if n is equal to 4 then it will be cost 4 point dft so in case of 4 point dft we have done through butterfly algorithm that is uh, to draw with the help of the fft algorithm uh, so in that FFT, we are using, we uh, always 
we require two stages to perform okay so but for n equal to 8 we need three so you can see you can check in your uh, like uh, uh, numericals that we had two stages to solve the uh, FFT but for n equal to 8 we need three but this is answer is three but you can go if you want to solve this there is a formula you can solve like this also n equal to r to the power r to the power gamma okay so here n equal to how much 8 fine then r r is required stages then then uh, gamma means it is the number okay so you can write it like this so it is 2 to the power gamma sorry 2 to the power gamma so here you can see uh, the next uh, next it is 8 means we can break it like this to to, to and then uh, this part uh, 2 to the power gamma like this okay so if you compare this both side LS and RSS so what will be the answer uh, so the gamma will be how much the gamma will be your 3 so uh, since it is 3 so how many stages will be required 3 but for for 4 point DFT you can see here so n equal to 4 so then 2 to the power comma or you can write n also no issues so it is 2 square then it is 2 to the power n if you compare this now you will get n equal to 2 that means we need two stages to solve in case of 4 point dft okay but for n point 8 point dft how many stages we require three three stages remember okay okay then next question is fft may be used to calculate this is again a common question i already have told you that fft is basically used to calculate the dft as well as the IDFT okay so the answer is here the answer is your 1 and 2 correct okay then next question the value of the total factor W4 minus W4 raised to minus 1 is what so first of all you have to draw this okay you can draw this total factor matrix I told you how to draw it so this is it's called W4 W4 0 then W4 1 then W4 2 then w4 3 so this value is how much it is positive axis 1 and this is negative axis it is minus 1 <laughs> then it is your positive z then this is imaginary axis this is minus z okay but if you want to find out the inverse so this is talking about inverse remember it is minus 1 is there so if you want to inverse if it is uh, like uh, uh, if it is normal like it is not inverse see uh, 0 then 1 then then here 2 then 3 so this is your uh, clockwise but if you want to find the inverse of total factor then you have to move in anti clockwise so if it is 0 4 to power uh, like 4 and raised to 0 then here it will be uh, w4 raised to minus 1 then it will be w4 raised to minus 2 then again w4 raised to minus 3 so now if you want to find out the value now you can clearly see that w4 minus 1 raised to minus 1 value how much because this is same value only okay this is z only right position you can take the position because w4 3 and w4 minus 1 they are in the same position because if you go through this uh, 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 clockwise direction or anti clockwise direction but the position of these two things are at same so that is it will be z so the correct answer is your the correct answer is yours what is the correct answer correct answer is answer option a which is z okay fine then uh, after this uh, i have completed your 2021 paper as well for discussion regarding the short questions so if you like the video kindly uh, share this video so that the others can also get benefited and uh, please don't forget to comment and like and also if you have any any doubts regarding the explanation of the remaining part like uh, you can download it from the description and if you want any more explanation about the remaining part you can uh, comment in my uh, comment box thank you so much thank you so much for giving your time uh, hope you meet in the next video. I'll be discussing about the most probable questions for the upcoming exam. Uh, the short questions. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot and hope all the best for studying. Okay. See you.